We've got some breaking news out of Paris. Soccer superstar Neymar will miss at least the first leg of PSG's Champions League fixture with Barcelona and could miss both due to injury. Our soccer insider Jonathan Johnson tells us the team describing it as a left adductor injury that will take roughly four weeks to recover from. Paris Saint-Germain's UCL match at the Camp Nou on Tuesday is set for the Champions League, of course, which resumes its knockout stage. PSG right now also fighting with Lille and Lyon in the Ligue 1 standings. All right, let's bring in Jonathan to tell us more. JJ, what's the latest on that Neymar injury? What more can you tell us? Well, I think you've said it all for the moment. PSG expecting Neymar to be out for four weeks. So not only is he definitely out of the clash with Barcelona, which would have been a reunion uh, between him and Lionel Messi, the club that he left uh, for a world record fee back in 2017. Uh, you know, but he's also a doubt for the second leg. So he might miss the tie altogether. And that's uh, obviously a big, big blow uh, for PSG and their coach, uh, Maurizio Pochettino. Things have been looking quite positive uh, with Neymar so far this season, particularly in the Champions League, when you consider how much of a key role he played in PSG's turnaround in form in the group stage and the way that he led them uh, to top spots in the end up against the likes of Manchester United, uh, RB Leipzig. There's been talk of a, a contract extension as well. Uh, our, uh, my colleague Fabrizio Romano was saying that, you know, Neymar has been preparing the ground for that announcement to be made. But obviously, uh, you know, an absence of, of around about a month now would be a, a big blow uh, to those plans. And, you know, putting it into the bigger picture, uh, you know, Neymar, so as, at this moment in time, he's played sort of somewhere just over 50% of all of the games that he could have played for PSG since signing. Uh, yet missing this many matches is, is obviously going to set him back in, in terms of that statistic. But perhaps more worryingly for PSG, it was only last season that he was able to play in both of the round of 16 uh, clashes against uh, Borussia Dortmund. And that's the only season since he's arrived uh, that PSG have advanced past that stage of the Champions League. You talked about it and mentioned our colleague Fabrizio Romano on the contract talks. Anytime Neymar moves the needle with anything that he does here, how are Parisians dealing with it? I know it's still fresh right now where you're at right now, but anytime something happens to Neymar, what's the concern level from a fan perspective? Oh, it's huge. I mean, it's pretty much all that the PSG fan base has been able to talk about since Neymar uh, made his way off the pitch in Kong and walked straight down the, the tunnel. You know, he was sort of whisked away uh, separately to the rest of the team after the match in order for, for PSG's medical staff to ascertain, uh, you know, the extent of the damage. We now know that, uh, but, you know, obviously this is a huge, huge blow. Uh, and PSG fans, you know, feeling a, a, a bit more pessimistic now about this Barcelona clash because let's not forget, it's not only Neymar uh, who's going to be missing at least this opening leg. You've got Angel Di Maria as well, who came off injured uh, in the recent win away at Marseille. Uh, so it's, you know, a lot of stuff there for, for Mauricio Pochettino to consider. And there's big games coming up in Ligue 1 as well. Uh, nice at home this weekend, perhaps not the biggest, uh, but Monaco at home just after Barcelona away uh, in that first leg in the Champions League is a big one when you consider uh, the great form that Monaco are in at this moment in time. So before I let you go then, Jonathan, how do you think Pochettino approaches his starting 11 and his lineup with having not one, but maybe two of his stars obviously out for at very least the first leg? Well, I think that the biggest issue now for PSG is getting their other star players who are potential doubts uh, available, fit and ready, making sure that no risks are taken against Nice. Uh, you've got Keylor Navas coming back. He's such uh, a, a big miss when he's not playing in goal. So having him there at uh, camp now will be a massive boost. And Marco Verratti as well, absolutely key in the midfield, especially since Pochettino has tried to, to introduce something of a 4-2-3-1 uh, formation, which actually has Verratti playing in a much more advanced position uh, than he's been used to in uh, in previous seasons and the previous coaches. So I'd say that the fitness of those two is now absolutely key. Uh, and obviously not losing somebody like a Kylian Mbappe, uh, a Marquinhos or a Presnel Kimpembe in that clash against Nice over the weekend. Pochettino is going to have to be very, very careful uh, coming into uh, that game uh, that he doesn't lose any more players to injury or, uh, or fitness issues. And then certainly appreciate it. Now you're busy. Thanks for joining CBS Sports HQ with the very latest on Neymar joining us from Paris, France. Certainly appreciate it. And just a reminder about the Champions League, which resumes here next week with the knockout stage on Tuesday. PSG going to Spain, taking on Barcelona, 3 p.m. Eastern, and then RB Leipzig and Liverpool also at the same time. You can catch it on CBS All Access. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. 
hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.